P2000 DSC often needs calibrations to make sure the data is collected properly. A calibration should be performed when switching a purge gas after cleaning or if a long time has elapsed since the last calibration. Allow yourself a whole day to perform the calibrations as they will take several hours. For further directions, see the help topics. There are several types of calibrations performed with the Q2000. One is called the T0 calibration. The T0 equation finds the heat flow based off of the temperatures and resistance and heat capacity differences. This calibration consists of a baseline run followed by a run with sapphire disks, and the results in heat capacity and resistance are compared to the theoretical values. The second calibration determines the enthalpy or cell constant and the x-axis temperature. This step consists of heating a standard metal, such as indium, through its melting point. The calculated heat of fusion and the melting point are compared to the theoretical values, and the differences are used in calibration. Use the touch screen to remove everything from the cell. Select the Calibration tab and then Calibration Wizard. When prompted, if you want to save the current sequence, say no, then begin to follow the instructions. First select the type of heat flow. T4P is recommended to perform the T0 calibration. Also select LNCS as the cooling unit. Next select the calibrations to perform. The first option is if you want all calibrations to be completed, while the second choice is just the enthalpy and temperature calibrations. The third option is loading previous saved calibration. In most cases, select the first option. First, the T0 calibration will be ran. You will be directed to perform the run with no samples or pans. Specify the temperature range and ramp. A typical range is negative 150 to 350 C and should reflect typical experimental ranges. A ramp of 20 K per minute is often used. Make sure the purge gas and flow rate are set as 25 milliliters per minute for the helium. Make sure the calibration run is specified and press start the run. Press next once the run is complete. Next, the same run will be performed with sapphire pieces of a known heat capacity. The red piece goes in the reference position while the white is in the sample position. Make sure the parameters and the program are the same as before and start the run, and press next when the run is finished. For the enthalpy and temperature calibrations, you will be prompted to use a metal with a known heat. Take approximately 1 to 5 milligrams of indium and crimp inside a standard pan. Also make a reference pan. Position the pans directly in the cell. To analyze the calibration data, choose Calibration and Analysis from the menu. Open runs for each calibration, select data limits, and save all software results.